Hi everyone! So, today I thought I would um, retry a combination of colors that I really really like, but on a bigger canvas. Um, I also got pushpins. I put them in the corners there. So, I uh, just let my painting dry like that. And I do not have to put like my glasses upside down and like some time I have them stick to the canvas. And I think the pushpin are a great solution for that. It was suggested in my comments and uh, thank you to whoever suggested that. I can't remember right now. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I wanted to do a multiple flip cup 34. So I have my glasses here and I'm going to put the paints in order of density in them. So the first paint is zinc white. Zinc white is um, the dancer. After that, it's the ultramarine blue, I think. Anyway, the ultramarine blue and the quinacridone violet are really close together, so it doesn't change much. As you can see, I use the side of the cup. I use the transparent cup so you can see. I use the side of the cup so the paint goes slowly and stays on top of the other paint underneath. Here comes the violet. Still using the side of the cup. And then I have my fluorescent colors. The fluorescent colors are very light in density and both the yellow and orange have the same density. Actually, all fluorescent colors have the same pigment density, so I usually put them last. As you can see, I kept a cup here. I'm going to use that to put paint uh, around my cups when I flip it. And finally, vanilla. And this is a uh, iridescent pearl. It's a, a warm white, but it's metallic, and I really like it. And I'm gonna use it to put around the cups when I flip. Um, I should get ready for the flip now. I'm going to put... So, I'm going to flip... Ooh, I almost made a mess. I'm going to use this canvas to flip. So, I'm going to also use this canvas to make a, a sandwich, the, the sandwich flip, as I call it. So I'm going to space my cups as much as I can, but not too much because I don't want the paint to fall right over the edges. And I'm going to zoom you in so you can see it happening. Okay. <laughs> So, here we go! My paint sandwich.
And as I flip my cups, it's going to mix into it and I think it's going to look really nice. Um, so yeah, let's do this! The cool part about the, pu the pushpin is you don't have to uh, try and know if you're on the cups or beside. You just set it down and voila! And you can see some cells starting to appear. back. Um, you have a time lapse of about 10 minutes. Uh, it changed a lot. Uh, cells have appeared uh, <laughs> in a couple of places. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Uh, I also like the lines, um, those lines here in the corners. I never get, never get tired of those. And uh, I'm happy with the color contrast as well, um, I can't wait for this one to dry, it's going to darken and uh, it's going to be even more uh, con contrasty? <laughs> no, it's going to be even more striking. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, the metallic paint too will uh, come out nicely as it dry and I'm happy there's like one line that follows the whole painting. Um, <laughs> it's funny how uh, you use the same colors and you get a completely different painting using a different technique. Um, it's really cool. Um, and yeah, of course you're going to get pictures at the end of the video of the dry painting, but I'm really impatient for this one to dry and I'm really impatient to put it on our black light to see how the fluorescent colors will pop under there. I think it's going to be very very nice um, and yeah, it's looking so smooth here. I really love it. There's a weird color that happened here, but uh, I think as as it dries, it's going to probably not be as weird, I guess. But yeah, all in all, really happy with that. Uh, real happy with the cells that have appeared. 
I like the fact that they're not everywhere. It, like, you can. It makes the eye move on the canvas. You have to look all around to see all the detail, and I really like that. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more, and if you liked it, uh, give it a like. I would appreciate. Thank you. Bye.